All right, thanks, Angela. Well, it feels like looking back, we've covered more combative, angry school board meetings in the past year than ever before. And politics really are at the center of many of these conflicts. Yeah, right now, school board elections are nonpartisan, but that could soon be changing because some lawmakers now say partisanship is the way to go. So tonight, 13 Investigates reporter Sierra Putman explains that it's a conversation that Hoosiers and communities all across the country are having right now. Volatile school board meetings like this sparked many new bills, including these three, which would change Indiana law to allow for partisan school board elections. Current school board members oppose the idea. I think it would deter some, some very qualified folks from wanting to run. I think that the legislature is creating a problem where there is no problem. Shelley Clark has two teens in Washington Township schools. Kids uh, should not be pawns in political party politics. Marshawn Wally's son goes to a Pike school. He's also against the idea. I don't know if there's a Republican or Democrat way to talk about or deal with recess and school lunches. All of it's political. Let's get that straight. Senator Jeff Radz is one of the authors of SB 144. His bill would allow candidates to put their party affiliation on the ballot. The beauty of uh, Senate Bill 144 is that there's no requirement to go partisan. It hasn't had a hearing, but House Bill 1182 has. It would require candidates to declare. Representative J.D. Prescott says it will help voters to see an R, D, or I for independence and everyone else not affiliated with a major party. You know, when I look at Republicans or Democrats, I think you can also, I think you can tell a difference between financial responsibility, uh, moral character in, in some cases. Prescott said his constituents asked for the bill. 21 people testified at the hearing of the bill. Zero supported it. Why open Pandora's box, especially now? Please vote no on this bill. Another issue. Federal employees are banned from participating in partisan politics. The father of a Marine spoke out. But personally, I'm offended that a bill such of this nature would limit my son's ability to run for public office in a democracy that he fought for four times. Prescott is open to an amendment. Ratz hopes the Hatch Act won't apply to his bill, but says it's up to a candidate to check before running. Indiana legislators aren't the only lawmakers considering changes. Tennessee just passed a bill in the fall that would allow for partisan school board elections. And right now, Florida, Missouri, and Arizona are considering similar plans. The Indiana School Board Association says only seven states allow partisan school board elections. The other 43 are nonpartisan. I think this is just another tool where party chairs can actually go out and help recruit candidates for these school board members, help help uh, increase transparency and um, bring more accountability to the to the voters. So. Opponents fear party ties may mean party over children. It does not add to education. Still, it could become part of the equation. The writers of the bills want one of them in place in time for elections in the fall.